Good morning, YouTube. There is another truck with a little bit of Tarkov slash Arena break it, breakout drama here. And let me unload it for you. So yesterday Nikita posted a couple of uh, tweets. We're going to go through them. And uh, firstly, Nikita's asked that people from community have noticed that something is wrong uh, with those screenshots. Um, and uh, long story short, this data is taken from Arena Breakout. Uh, I'm not sure if it's from Arena Breakout Infinite, the new uh, PC game. However, there are values, uh, there are variables that are the same as in Tarkov. There is uh, the name of Gluhar, there is the name of Kila Kojeny, which was a prototype for Sturman. And uh, all of this is very weird. Because uh, even though those are just variables, they don't really make much difference in the code. You can quickly swap them to something else. Um, they still left it there, which is very, very weird. It doesn't necessarily mean that they copied Tarkov's, um, Tarkov's base code, that they uh, literally stole the assets or anything. Um, it looks like Arena Breakout is like made, made like the game is made by uh, by the devs, like they didn't really copy much. But this whole situation is really, really weird. Because um, why would you have literally the code from Tarkov in your database? That 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 makes no sense. If any if anybody understands this, if anybody has any clues, let me know down in the comments below. Because so far, uh, it literally makes no sense. I don't know. Maybe they use the base um, variables of Tarkov to somehow. Um, put all the variables into the... I, I have no clue. I have no idea. Either way, so this is the first thing. Um, this sort of code was found in Arena Breakout. I personally don't think it necessarily leads to the fact that they copied Tarkov, because first of all, Tarkov is made on Unity um, that has been written in C Sharp, while Arena Breakout um, is made in Unreal Engine 4 that is done in C++. Even though the languages are similar, like there will still need to be a lot of um, code rewritten in order to copy paste Tarkov's code into, um, um, into Unreal Engine 4. Um, so yeah, and also I don't remember who, somebody mentioned that we also don't know for sure if BSG licensed all the guns that are in the game, because some of the guns, some of the attachments might be unlicensed. I once again have no proof of whether that's true or false, so take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but yeah. Overall, if I was Nikita or I was B BSG, I would definitely be pissed about the situation, uh, as they rightfully are. Funnily enough, when Nikita started talking about this on Twitter, a lot of people uh, once again talked about that they need to focus on their own game. And uh, probably with the current drama from BSG, well, if they didn't know what they do, what they done with Unheard Edition, I'm pretty sure they would have received way more support on Twitter and uh, Reddit. However, it turned out um, the way it did turn out, you know. Um, yeah, so this whole situation is something unheard of. And uh, Nikita done a few more tweets. He said it's been a couple, it's been a rough couple of weeks. We wanted to keep it quiet, but he shared this either way. Then he says, um, um, <laughs> this new information has not been heard before. The name Kojeny is the nickname of the man who became the prototype of Sturman, from whom the art of the boss was drawn. He took part in a couple of early dev broadcasts in 2015. Um, those are difficult times, but my confidence in the future is stronger than ever. We are the unheard, reveal the future together. Long live hardcore. Uh, okay, this is just this is just cringe. I'm not gonna lie, man. This, that's just freaking cringe, bro. Uh, we're the unheard. Reveal the future together. Like what, bro? Apes, apes, apes strong together. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So um, I just wanted you to know. I'm not gonna make this video any longer. Not gonna pour any water. Not gonna splash any water in your face. So give this video a thumbs up for me keeping it uh, short and informative. And uh, check me out on Twitch. I stream Tarkov there. And have a wonderful rest of your day, ladies and gents.